three lessons I learned after growing my coaching business to six figures at age 19. And lesson number two would be super valuable to you and it might change your life. Let's get straight into it. Lesson number one, take full responsibility for every result you created in your life. It is our challenges that help us grow and become a better version, not those easy times. Remember this and thank your past self for all of the challenges it endured. Because all of those challenges bring you to who you are right now. Without those challenges, you wouldn't be the person you are today. And those challenges help you grow a lot. Like, I know how tough it is when you go from some challenging moments. Like, the last thing we have on our mind is, oh yeah, everything would be better in future. I know this challenge is helping me grow. Yes, it's obvious that we don't think about this. But I want you to just detach yourself a bit, have this mindfulness, and really think deeply. Yes, life might be super, super challenging now, but my future self would be glad that I went through all of the situations. Use the challenges as learning tools and stepping stones in your journey because they helped you become who you are now. There is no way you could be the best version without those challenges that you endured. So once again, thank your past self for all of the challenges you went. Because when growing a business, I learned that it's not easy. We go through a lot of challenges. And especially with social media nowadays, it's super hard because we are always comparing ourselves and we always feel like we're behind. Our life is full of challenges. No, you should not compare your life to the life of other people. Because they're just showing the highlights and you're comparing your lowest moments to the highlights which doesn't make sense at all that's why i'm having this channel where i'm also showing those low moments that i have because we go through a lot of low moments throughout our journey but no one is willing to share them and share the lessons he's learning don't forget to subscribe to my channel for that reason and lesson number two believe in your dream no matter what you may not hit your goal on the exact time frame you want i certainly didn't but i never let it stop me ever i'm always going to believe in my goal no matter what and if i don't hit it i never change the goal i always aim towards the goal i set even though I didn't hit it in the time frame I set myself, I'm still doing the work that is required so I can achieve this goal. Many people just go in this depressed mood when they don't hit the goal in the time frame they set. They think like they're failure, they cannot succeed, never. But that's not <coughs> We all have this ups and downs throughout the journey. And maybe you're going through this downs right now, but believe that there would be better times as long as you keep working. I love a quote from Alex Hormozzi that is, the only way to fail is if we quit. And if you don't quit, you will never fail. That's why I want you to believe in the goal and the dreams you have and work until you achieve them. Yes, it might take time, but that's the only way. There is no shortcut to success. You can't just wake up tomorrow and be successful. No, you go through a lot of ups and downs again. And those down moments are super hard, but our journey wouldn't be the same without them. As I mentioned in the first lesson, those downs, those challenges are building our character that deserves the results and character that deserves the dreams we have. And those were the two lessons I wanted to share with you that I learned in my journey so far. Of course, they were super hard. I'm going to share all of the lessons I'm learning in future with you. 
so you can avoid the mistakes I'm making and most importantly, go for these slow moments when, when you feel down and remember that I also went through moments like this and you are not alone.